Hi, myself Pratik, and in this session we will discuss architecture of PLSQL. Let's start this session. Whenever we submit a data centric application program, the code is written in the form of a PLSQL block. This code will be sent to the database server for its execution. This database server contains a PLSQL engine where this PLSQL block is handled. This PLSQL engine separates procedural statements and send it to procedural statement executor, while all SQL statement are sent to SQL statement executor. So we can conclude that whenever we submit an application program in the form of a PLSQL block to database server for its execution, PLSQL engine handles this PLSQL block and separate procedural and SQL statements. The procedural statements will send to procedural statement executor while SQL statements are handled by SQL statement executor. Let's understand this architecture by some sample code. Here we have a if statement which check the value of a and b and based on this condition it decide whether to execute SQL 1 or SQL 2 statement. So the checking of condition that A is greater than B or not is performed by PLSQL executor. And based on the result, it send appropriate SQL statement to SQL statement executor. If condition is true, the procedural statement executor will send SQL statement 1 to SQL statement executor. But if condition is false, then it will send SQL statement 2 to SQL statement executor for its execution. Let us consider another code having a while loop to understand this architecture. In this case, we initialize a variable i and we use while loop to execute this SQL statement 10 times. Now, the initialization of control variable, the condition checking and its increment all is performed by procedural statement executor. While this SQL statement is executed by SQL statement executor. So we can understand that based on the value of i, this procedural statement executor send the SQL statement to SQL statement executor. If the value of i is less than or equal to 10, it will continuously send SQL statement for its execution. And in this case, this SQL statement is sent to SQL statement executor 10 times because this statement has been put in a loop. So in this way, PLSQL blocks are executed by PLSQL engine with the use of procedural statement executor and SQL statement executor. Thanks for watching this video. To read more about PLSQL, you can refer my book Simplified Approach to DBMS or you can follow PLSQL for Beginners Simplified Approach in Kindle format. Thanks for watching this video.